Hey there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and welcome back to part 2 of my 100% achievements and trophy guide for the Sinking City. Now, in the last one we had just finished the long main case Father and Sons and are now into the main case Nosedive. So the first thing we need to do straight away is go to Evernote Blackwood's flooded office and this, by the way, is a mission which we can all have fun and agree on. It's killing KKK members! Woohoo! So of course, go into your casebook then if you want to know uh, which obviously marker to put down if you still obviously copy me with putting the exact markers down again. They don't really matter, but as long as you get the correct location, then we should be good to go. So yes, this is a very heavily involved KKK mission. And... Yeah, it's actually really fun and really hilarious uh, smiting these bastards. So then a few things to note first, obviously if you need an ammo, always remember to keep crafting your ammo, always remember to keep checking your skills to see how many knowledge points you've got, obviously keep trying to put in health and upgrading your weapons, etc. Now, um, Blackwood's office is on a flooded street, basically, so the only way we're getting there is obviously by boat and not by swimming, because eels will swim down our penis, and that hurts, I expect. I mean, I expect it really hurts. One flick on one flick on the old uh, <laughs> Roger boy and it bloody hurts, so imagine an eel getting down. Anyway, we're losing track now, so it's on a flooded street, so we're getting there by boat, but you'll have to be extremely extremely careful and be prepared because there are two KKK members when you um, enter this building one has a pistol and one has a shotgun now to be fair this was the only point in the game I died but it was the guy with a shotgun that smashed me up what happened for me though was and as I went back the guy with the pistol was there but the guy with the shotgun wasn't now I don't know if that's purposeful of the game I don't know if that's what happens for everyone but i mean obviously if you can kill the kkk member without dying that would be better as well so get anything ready typically try and get your sort of pistol or something ready and aim for the head but be very careful as you enter sort of take a step back he will be there somewhere there he is and again there will be one guy with a shotgun that's why i'm sort of slowly making my way in and being a bit paranoid because i think he's gonna appear but he will appear the first time you come here. Again, if you die, don't know if he just disappears when you go back. So, be warned, my friends. Otherwise, it's just another nice area with no monsters. You're just searching for your key evidence. Lootables and additional evidence. Yummy. This is an Evernote. The killer knew what he was doing. Ah, oh, this is an Evernote. As you can probably tell, I'm still in quite the paranoid mode. Uh, just thinking that the shotgun guy might be up here, but he's not. So, <laughs> happy days for me. And hopefully happy days for you too if this happens. Ah, oh, this is an Evernote. Ah, oh, this is an Evernote.
Someone shot this place up good. Someone shot this place up good. This is an Evernote. This is an Evernote. Ah, oh, jeez. Bastard. The killer... This is an Evernote. I surrender. Me and let my people leave. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all the Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome. In this part of town. Time to figure this out. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. Maybe they'll finally get it. The Order ain't welcome in this part of town. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. The meeting place was attacked. Evernote was carried off while his escort's bodies were left as a warning. So that's all the evidence collect then. We're gonna do some Mind Palace deductions now. And by the way, if you hated racists and the KKK and anything to do with any goddamn racism before you're gonna hate them even more just this mission really fuels your anger for any pissing goddamn idiot racists obviously not 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 enough to go out and start fires and you know murder people and stuff obviously but to get really pissed off at them i don't condone violence of any type apart from in game of course <laughs> So, anyway, now we are done with this area, we need to go to Oakmont Police Department, where we get to see Officer Poopy Pants the second. He's more of a douche than the original Poopy Pants. But, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Ugh, he keeps calling me newcomer like he wants to touch my pee-pee. 
gay bloody poopy pants. Anyway, here we are then. <laughs> we, we haven't got... <laughs> Jesus. We haven't got that many clues, of course, so... Mm -hmm. This bit should be particularly easy. And obviously what we have found in this is that there was a mass lynching carried out by KKK members against eight Innsmouthers, you know, the fish-faced dudes at the Orion Club. Since that case was closed by public demand, the suspects were released, so obviously a lot of people were pissed off at that. So obviously the Orion Club is our next destination. So, just a few things then to note about this Orion Club. There is a ton of wild beasts. Basically, as you move through the building, you will get attacked by five waves of wild beasts, which will include Stygians, Lethians, and Cocitians. If you haven't seen them already, you will at this point. Now, it's not as bad as it actually sounds, because you'll be attacked on the first floor by about, you know, three, four, five, six. Get rid of them. Then... If you actually save and you come back a bit later on, those enemies will actually despawn. They won't come back, unlike other enemies in other buildings in the game. So that's good news for us there. But it's not like they come randomly appear at any time. The, like I said, the first floor, when you enter, a couple of wild beasts will spawn. When you go to the second floor, a couple more will spawn. I'll obviously tell you when they're about to spawn. But obviously, get, get your ammo. Get as much ammo as you can ready. There's plenty of ammo in the building as well anyway. Um, for us to use, plenty of materials for us to get and loot, so don't worry about that. But the first one, you will notice, um, we'll interact with this dead body on the ground first, and then just as you enter a little bit more into the hallway, in fact, there they are now. So that is a Kokishan, which, like I said, is a son of a bitch to kill more than the other two. But they're not as bad, as long as you keep your distance, and it's just easier to smash them with the pistol if you can. So that, there you go, only three enemies appeared for me then on this first one. The second uh, wave of Wild Beasts will appear down the basement. That's the only place we can go, and that is where they will attack us. So again, be wary. Now you'll notice in every room I look behind me, that's because these um, beasts can spawn behind you. It's a random enemies, random number can appear, so that's why it's always best to sort of check around. Don't assume you're safe, always check behind. Now we see a KKK guard that's hurt and that's hilarious to us, but if you follow my dialogue options that I choose right here, you will lose one first aid kit, but you will gain two shotgun shells if you're running low on uh, shotgun ammunition. But again, if you don't really care, click on you deserve this and you'll just get 140 XP points and the game moves on. <sighs> I'm not going to leave somebody to die. No matter. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I won't. So that's job done there. Now if you see the KKK symbol on the wall, go ahead and use your mind's eye on that. That's basically just an illusionary wall for us to get past. And again, there'll be no enemies on this point. And when you get to the next floor as well, there'll be no enemies. So it's kind of like a breather. So if you want to make a manual save if you want, just in case, then of course it's up to you. But there are two lootable boxes on the next floor with lots of ammo and lots of stuff for us to craft. Which is... Always handy and always welcome.
and apparently the hardest part of this game is actually just trying to climb things. Um, yeah, we'll try that. We made it. We finally made it. So, but yeah, apparently that's the hardest part of the game. The hardest mechanic is climbing. So, yeah, you can have a look around here if you want. Obviously, we still got evidence and things to pick up. But the main thing is the two big lootables, which we need. And also, there is a locked door. Now, if we just smash open the padlock on the door, it just makes it easier for us to get down. I'm not being crazy, you actually have to get up to the second floor on this table, but I just realised that I haven't smashed open the padlock on the door. It's, there's no bearing on where enemies appear or anything, it's just, like I said, helps us um, get, uh, get down easier a lot. There's another set of wild beasts up on this floor, so you're okay, but as soon as you start creeping forward towards the exit right there, that is where the wild beasts will spawn. So again, be careful. Any random number and any random enemies can appear. So that wasn't too bad, but it's, it's the freaking screeches, man. The screeches of these monsters can't... The, Get into your head. They get indebted into your head, to be honest. <laughs> so we've got a few, uh, there's a few sort of key evidence, additional evidence and lootables to get in this area before we move on. And when we do exit this room finally, that is where the fourth set of wheel, uh, wild beasts will spawn in the hallway. So it starts to get a tiny bit trickier now as, you know, it's a bit tight in the hallways, but... It's not too bad, not too bad, as long as you sort of, again, keep your distance. You can use this room as cover as well. Fake your funny black wood. A confession, a real one. Write it down while you've still got fingers. So, there we go then, that was enjoyable, wasn't it? Uh, again, we're going to smash open this padlock, that'll help us get down easier a little bit later on. And as soon as we uh, walk up these stairs, this is where the fifth set and final set of wild beasts will spawn. So get your gun ready, they're about to appear. Kill this one and turn around because they spawn behind you as well. So again, be careful of that. You know what, I love how I almost died by shoveling the air. That was good move. That that really um yeah, that really got to him. Right then, this next room. For one, we are getting an achievement, and for two, it's very it can be quite difficult. 
So next we're going to talk to, and <laughs> this guy's a douche, he calls himself the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer. Yeah, I know, absolute knob. Very important though, if you want to make a manual save again just in case, definitely worth doing, but you've got to follow the exact same dialogue options I do here, otherwise you will miss out on this achievement. And no matter what other way you go, you will be in a gunfight almost immediately. The th there are three KKK members, including this Imperial freaking wizard, who will wield shotguns, so basically what you need to do straight away is take cover, go back, and go around this bookcase uh, hey. here. You can just waltz in uh, again, you will see, anyway. The club. Charles Reed. But get your shotgun ready. I'm looking for one of your recent... Right, you mean that... Was the preacher's name Evernote by any chance? That's the one. Oh, that seems like a lot of tr He's a pain in the ass, is what? Did anyone see where he went? I bet good. So, you gonna tell- It's your life. Who exactly are you? You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, newcomer. Show some damn respect. Oh, a wizard. Like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drug did you just- Come on, Gord. Don't- That's As soon as this cutscene ends, get your shotgun out straight away and just absolutely smash him. You can kill at least two of them. But if you start getting shot at, move around this bookcase right here. And you should now be able to smash the third one out immediately. So as long as you immediately join shotgun and smash the two of them, this fight should be a bit easier. Have some of that. Taste my balls. Taste my tea baggy balls. Go on. Go on, son. Taste them. Oh, and look at that. There's a little hurt KKK member as well. Well, could be. You're dead now. You are dead as hell, man. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel good to kill somebody who calls himself the Imperial Wizard? Imp like, a KKK member's actually done that as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, hilarious, I know. Anyway, so sadly you didn't get time to really enjoy the achievement, but you would have unlocked it right there. Couple of lootables and things to get in this room, nothing too special though, so now we can actually exit this building, finally, because it's just starting to do me tits in. So, very happily for us now, we've got Ebono Blackwood's hideout location, which is great. And also, we don't have to deal with any enemies for a while as well, which is just... After all that, that is just music to our ears, isn't it? So we don't have to deal with no monsters when we get to this hideout. After we get to... Um, after we finish with Ebono Blackwood's hideout, we will have to do another underwater dive. So again, it's, there's another squid fish down there, but again, it's not not too difficult really so as far as enemies go well oh, man we are golden for now nice and of course remember to loot all the boxes just in case you know get your ammo and things sorted and then re-loot what you can see if we can get some more things So then, another thing to note before we get to Ebono Blackwood's hideout. Um, he is just quite close to um, Salvation Harbour, so that's where his hideout is. But basically, when we enter for the first time, we will um, see this mind-bending cutscene, and that'll drain your sanity to basically zero. So you can either wait for it to... You can either knock the um, shadow monsters and smash them about until your sanity returns to normal, or you'll see what I do. Get the, it's not the first aid kit, it's the one above it, the antipsychotic. Just chuck two of them in your arm and then your sanity returns to full normality straight away. But again, you'll see what I mean.
So here is his hideout, so just get your antipsychotic meds ready as soon as we enter and as soon as the cutscene finishes. Again, chuck two of them in your arm like you've got the last two shots of heroin on Earth. But it'll help us out, won't it? So... <laughs> Ah, there we go then. So we're back to normality. If you want to craft another two antipsychotics, you can. We don't really use them. Well, you've seen that was the first time I used them. In the game, we don't use them barely at all. So it's up to you. You might as well, though, if you got the spare. If you got the spare loot. So now this is just a nice easy bit. No enemies will attack you. We're just going to be walking around grabbing all the evidence that we possibly can. There we go. That was the first thing that's possibly gone wrong. Throat slit. Clean. Throat slit. Clean. Smells a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. Huh. Somebody likes to lecture. Into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order, and to take back Professor Toe! Time to figure this out. 
Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. He took a small army with him. I just need to figure out where he went. So that's another bit of all evidence collected, so that's another 140 XP for us. Remember to always keep checking your skills, um, just to see how many knowledge points you've got to, again, upgrade your characters. Of course, now we'll be doing a bunch of Mind Palace deductions. And after we do that, the location that we need is the Clamshore Marina Diamond. It's basically on the left-hand side, right at the very, very end of the Salvation Harbour. And also what you should be doing then when you get the um, map all marked out, try and go for a fast travel point to the north. If you go for a fast travel point to the south, there's going to be an infested area in the way and that'll just waste a lot more time unless you want to, again, try and fight a bunch of monsters, but it's not worth it. So fast travel point, head to the north, that one there, that'll just be a lot easier for you and save you a bunch more time. And basically, when we get there, we're going to be taking a boat, which you'll need to, you know, take your time very carefully. You could end up actually getting beached. So, again, take your time, and there'll be a diving suit for us at the end, nice and ready. You know, with driving like that, you wouldn't think I've never had a crash in my life, touch wood, so far, have you? Yeah, I'm kind of lucky with that. Right, so this dive is easier than the last one in terms of the fish. Like I said, we'll be climbing these uh, rock faces here. Again, the game can get kind of finicky with... You can't just press Y straight up. If, if you can't get up, just move about sort of left and right. And you'll get up eventually. But of course, just be careful with these hot air vents. I call them hot pockets, which is an American snack earlier on. They're not hot pockets. But god damn, they sound tasty. Um, but they are hot air vents, of course, just be careful. Remember, if you do get hit, press the right bumper or R1 of the PlayStation. Um, hold that to heal up nice and easy. <sighs> uh, 
as soon as you climb this last one, there's going to be a tentacle monster that'll pop up right in front as you get your harpoon ready. There he is. Just smash him up and run on by. He won't hit you again. And just after this tentacle monster, there's going to be another squid fish. Again, luckily, he's not as bad as the last one. So make sure to reload. Get your harpoon ready. As soon as you see him, just give him a little whack with the harpoon. Should just be up ahead right now. You can sort of see him in the distance. So there you go. Wait till he gets close. And then smash him. Reload. Keep on running. He'll need one more hit. So turn around. And of course hit him when he gets close. And then as soon as you start climbing. He should leave you alone. For some reason. He must be a dumbass fish. Because he doesn't realise that you can just he can just swim up. But hey, it makes it fantastic for us. And then that should be it. The rest of it's a nice... Uh, <laughs> there he is. He's like, shit, how do I get up there? I can't climb. What a stupid nomad. But that's done now, so we've got an easy time to just move on. You know, I said easy time to move on. Actually, trying to climb these cliff faces are, is the hardest part of this whole dive. So, <laughs> yeah. I hope you're having just as much fun as I did with this. So that's yet another underwater exploration dive done. Now, this bit, again, can potentially be tricky. There's about six religious bald zealot guys with shotguns who will appear and obviously try to take you down. They're not here to make you a cup of brew, are they? So obviously, have a look at this little bit of evidence. Look at this little bit of lootable and things like that. But the first one will appear just over those steps that we need to go over. For me, he had, he appeared on the right, but he might appear on the left for you. So, again, just be careful. Be a bit wary. I thought he was going to appear on the left, but he <laughs> smashed me straight. Uh, straight in the nuts with that, which hurt. But it doesn't matter, because you get blasted with a shotgun. It's no problem. You just first aid yourself. There's one right in front of us here, as you can see. And then we'll have one, again, that will spawn directly behind him. You can see him just off in the distance there. Try and get a little bit closer than I am, but obviously we're just trying to keep our safety distance. No more will spawn here until you get past this sort of rock formation in front of you. One will appear on the left now, and then one will appear down the stairs. So again, keep your distance. Make sure that they can't really get a sh good shot in. And then that should be that. That's not bad. Now we can just... Have a little look for some evidence for some lootables around here and then climb the steps which the last religious zealot was coming down from to find Ebonote Blackwood. And now the game really starts to take shape in terms of story and what the hell is going on, Ignis. Harriet Doe, I know you were looking for... Why do you need to find her? I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a... D the professor is the one. Listen to me. She is one of the chosen, gifted with vision. I don't follow. 
from beneath the... I... In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. So maybe you have a bit more of an understanding of going on, maybe you don't, it doesn't really matter, we're just in it for the achievements, uh, ain't we? So go into this cave then behind him, you'll get another minute, minute and a half uh, loading screen, which you must be getting pissed off by now. Now you see these frescoes in front of you? Make sure to interact with them first. Always make sure to interact with them before using the mind's eye. This is a missable achievement, there's three of these frescoes, which you need. And it's very important. I'm not sure if it's missable, but I think you can use the mind's eye without interacting, and then you will miss the achievement. So always make sure to interact with them first before using the mind's eye. Another piece of the puzzle. It looks like a wheel, something, something repeating, maybe, like the seasons, some kind of cycle. seen these symbols before. Where? Ah, don't we love the sweet sound of achievement popping? Right, now we are we are in the cave of Harriet Doe. Now she's on the left of me just there, but she could be anywhere at any random point for you. So she might be on the left, she might be on the right, she might be up on the bloody ceiling, I don't know, but I missed her the first time, so I went all around and ended up <laughs> finding her eventually. Um, quite quickly, there she is, big fat head there. Now, a couple of things we need to point out. Basically, there's two options you can make with Harriet. If you tell her, I will be the one who remains, she's going to whip out a revolver and you have to kill her. But for me, I chose we need to leave and you tried to save her. Honestly, purely because I didn't want to waste any more bullets on crap. No offense, she's very intelligent and obviously she's not brainwashed or anything, but you know, it's a bit pointless wasting bullets on this. But again, obviously, options completely up to you. It won't affect any achievements later on down the line, it'll just affect um, Robert Throgmorton's opinion of you, which at this point we just know he's a Tetley teabag master, we don't particularly care. I have visions too. Oh, but that has that has to be. Uh... I need a moment to think it up. Okay, I will stay. Obviously, as I've said many times before, what your mind palace tells you to do and what you actually do are completely different. So for me, I choose we need to leave, just like I said, so it saves us a couple of bullets. And whatever you decide to choose here, you'll either get the same cutscene or you'll get a different cutscene. Just, um, you know, it's all, all, all ent for our entertainment.
So we wake up in the psychiatric hospital. We've got a new side case which is unlocked for us, which is one of the side cases we, we will be doing a bit later on as it's got another achievement tied to it. And we've also completed Nosedive and now we are on to deal with the devil. Now you remember this guy from the beginning of the game, Johannes Vandenberg. He has been apparently helping us. And I say apparently, through this mission you'll know exactly why he is becoming more and more of a douchebag complete. But this conversation can be kind of long, so you know, just try and get smash through it best you can. Any dialogue option really doesn't matter. I'm just picking the ones that progress the story a little quicker. There was this ancient temple down there. It was... it was wrong. It's all right, I believe you. Please. What happened? Ah, she's right here. They fished her out of the calm shore marina. Our but how? I made sure, Mr. Reed, when confronted by the... What happened to my things? I need to find them. Mr. I... Although... The how do you know about it? Mr. Reed, there are plenty. Perhaps it has been misplaced. Johannes, be straight. What can I say? Acquiring information. In any event, when you've recovered... So then, from this point, if you want to go around the hospital again and pick up all the relootables again for some more crafts and some more ammos, etc., obviously w always worth doing. Otherwise, we can just go straight downstairs, speak to Dr. Grant, the mustachioed, beautiful man of pure steroids and dumbbells and unicycles. And after that, now that we've got a name, we need to find a location. So with that, we'll be using the archives just behind Dr. Grant downstairs. I believe I was rescued by a stranger. Do you ah, let's see. You're Reed, right? Huh. Well, that's funny. A regular. Yeah, his name is Billy Drunnan. Well, let's just say he had barrel fever. Uh, I tell you, his file is... Uh, can I have my... Th oh, of course. Is this all you have? No, I, I don't recall it. Sorry. Bye. Oh, he's a funny man too, and... Oh, what's that? Underwater treasures? Oh, wait, I know what they are, because I was pissing there, and now I've lost it, so... Nice! Glad that was the front cover. Wasn't, you know, oh, P.I.'s lucky to live or anything? Nah, we get nothing. Blech. Anyway, the clue that we need then is obviously Good Samaritan. And just pick the three clues again that I do, so we know where to find Billy Drunnan. Right then, so we've got a location then. Billy is at the Seven Oaks Bar, but before we do that, we're going to return to the Planet of the Apes Tetley Teabag legend, that is Robert Throgmorton's manor, just to let him know sort of how it went. And basically, he's going to be pleased but doubly pissed off that you weren't able to save Harriet Doe and give you two shotgun shells for all of your hard work in the last mission. So, yeah... Yeah, nice one, ape face. Sorry, sorry, that's that's considered racist in the part of Oakmont. My bad. But like I said, we're here now. You can, it, hey mate, I tell you what, if you could, you would have some uh, <laughs> Albert Throgmorton cake, wouldn't you? Some dead sun cake. Mmm, delicious. And they're still going for it, the fat bastards. But yeah, anyway, after this bit, get your ass to the Seven Oaks Bar. 
What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand, but she was our last chance to dis- All I know is she tried to flee the underwater t How on earth could this happen? I don't even know how I got out of there alive. Useless. There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some- Beh, Not since. I'm talking about the very ruin- You seem intent on ruling out rash- Believe me. There's nothing- That is for me to decide. As for you, here is your payment. Uh, Have a good- Eh, you want a piece of me, you son of a bitch? Stop reading that paper, eh, you asshole with your two shotgun shells. <sighs> oh well, let's go drown our sorrows at the Seven Oaks. So we'll need to speak to the bartender first, but if you remember from very, very, basically the beginning of the game, you will remember who Billy is. He was the guy that was outside the Under the Keel bar where we got our very first achievement of the game. Bye. Billy Dronin, I presume. With a jug of you. Oh. I'm told I owe you. Ah, it was nothing. Good book says to help your neighbor. And all the commotion. You think I'm the kind of guy that it saves. If you didn't take it, then who did? Hmm. Tough to. I found you on the calm shore. Billy's going to ask you to buy him a drink here for one bullet. Honestly, don't do it, because Billy ends up being a knob. If you couldn't tell already. Just don't do it. I did, and I regret it, okay? Thanks. Just as I was getting... Th so we've got a location where Billy thinks the seal is, or knows where the seal is, and it's basically... It's in walking distance. It's right there on the calm shore. And you know you will have hit the location because we will be attacked by four Stygians. The spider-like dudes, so this bit again is nice and easy and there'll be a few lootables, collectibles, etc. Um, uh, evidence, sorry, to collect on the beach as well. So again, this is a nice little bit.
Scratches? Oh, this must be where I surfaced. Hmm. Whoever ripped this apart was in a hurry. At last, I finally have it! Better hurry to the manor before more interlopers show up. When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking... So saving the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood. Did you really think the Yellow Kings wouldn't catch you? Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Time to figure this out. So, saving the drowned is the only way you can make friends, Blackwood? Did you really think the Yellow Kings wouldn't catch you? When the Chosen visit you, they never seem to come back. So we'll be taking this one. Finish him, Carl. Fools! You don't know what you're doing! Put him down! Blackwood dragged me to the surface, but was ambushed by Drunnen. Both seem to think I'm among the Chosen. And now Blackwood has the seal. So that's all the key evidence and all your evidence collected. There's a couple of lootables just up ahead, which is what I am looking for here. But what we've just noticed there then is Billy's story does not match up to what he has told us at all. So we'll need to be going back to the Seven Oaks now for a little chat with Billy. And this is exactly the reason why I didn't buy him a drink, because he's a lying douchebag. And no lying douchebags get a drink. Why? Why should a lion douchebag get a drink? Not for one of my bloody bullets. Well, okay, I already gave him a drink, because obviously I didn't realise he was lying to me at this point. But still, still, I'm saving you guys a bullet. Thank me any way you want. But pretty unsurprisingly, we are here and he has gone. He's left this drawing for us, which is just nice. Um, so interact with that, then go and chat to the barman. And basically, we've only got one clue leading us anywhere now, and that is to Blackwood Manor. This conversation is pretty straightforward, so. Ah, son of a... I guess his tab just got even... You're a local. Can you remind me... The manor. Yeah, what you want with it? Who's to say? <laughs> well, the manor's easy enough to find. Top of a... I won't keep you. So kind of...
deeper than the river. So yeah, this was pretty annoying, I was almost there, then I hit an infested area. So for some reason though, this bit, uh, getting to Blackwood Manor, confused me somewhat slightly. Not sure why, but hopefully you found an easier way of getting there then <laughs> than I did. Well, hey, finally freaking made it. So that only took most of the video. Uh, <laughs> no, it didn't. So you're going to see this manor now, this big, you know, you can't miss it really. And basically, where we enter here, if you go around to the front, and that is around the, the right side here, you're going to encounter two enemies, a Stygian and a Lithian. We're going to leave them. It's worth doing if you need a bit of extra XP, but we're just going to leave them. That's where the entrance is. We'll be coming back there in a minute, because basically the front door is barricaded. That's locked, but there's a, a dead body, a piece of additional evidence out here. Not this guy. It's the one just here. So, we'll just uh, interact with that body, go back. Like I said, if you want to go to the front and um, fight those two beasts, that's fine. But basically, what, um, use your mind's eye on this brick wall and then we can get in the house. Now, this first floor, Blackwood has this summoning ability where if you go too close to one of these symbols that are on the floor, um, monsters will appear. Now, sadly for us, the first one is pretty unavoidable right here. So a couple of Stygians and a couple of Lethians will attack us. Thank you. 
So there's that bit done nice then. Now you just seen a door with a big, well, basically an eye painted on it. There it is, that one there, the fish eye, whatever that was. If you remember that, that was at the fish market, the sign of the EOD. Uh, that's locked at the minute, but we'll be going through there a little bit later on. So if you need some more ammo, you need to adjust your skill set and upgrade your character. Of course, go ahead and do that right now. But basically, where we'll be going first then is the basement. And down in the basement, there is a big summoning glyph. If you go near the bait, uh, if you go near that glyph, a big Archeronian will appear. Now, if you remember, you've got the achievement in the med medical lab, the big slow like creature, the big massive fat creature that came alive. So do not, if you want to avoid a fight here with the big American buffet looking thing, just avoid that summoning glyph. Completely avoid it. There are things to collect. There's this illusionary wall right here, things to collect in this room, but just stick with the uh, edges as much as you can before we head down into the sub-basement there. By the way, if you do end up accidentally summoning the Archeronin and you do have to fight it, obviously a couple of grenades, uh, set down a couple of traps, a few grenades, shotgun blasts, machine gun, like we've seen, about 20 machine gun bullets will take care of the fat dude, the fat explosion boy, so that's just that there then, there's nothing down here, there's just a f another illusionary wall we need to find and a couple of I uh, key items and additional items for us to inspect Aroni again. You know, I'm sure you should be used to that part, uh, <laughs> that portion of the game by now. Space for rituals. I'm well equipped too. Dragon's Eye. I've seen this before. Seems more recent. Oh, you blasted thing! Ugh, I'm this way, Gordon. The cure for your illness awaits. So many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. Okay, let's see what we have here. This way, Gordon. A cure for you. Oh, you blasted thing! <sighs> I need a stronger token. <sighs> so many attempts, so few chosen left. I must keep looking. Eberno conducted a ritual on someone, but the man died in the process. He buried him and set out to find something he called a... Stronger focus. Oh boy, he has got some explaining to do right here, isn't he? So this will involve you very, very much. So uh, we will be coming back down here in just a little while as well. Um, but yes, Blackwood's got a, f uh, got a little bit of explaining to do. But for us right now, we'll be going up to the second floor of the building and we will ha be attacked by two Cockitions and one green Cockition. Now, the only major difference between that, uh, between those enemies is the green Cockition, basically when he lunges at you, he leaves like this pouch or something or other, something along those lines on the floor. And if you step on that, it'll uh, basically end up explosi uh, exp exploding and damaging you. So obviously it's worth just, if you see one, just keep stepping back and wait for it to 
lunge at you and then shoot it in the back. So get your machine gun, get your shotgun ready, whatever. I use a shotgun. I probably worth not using, uh, not worth using a shotgun. Didn't do me any good here. Maybe a couple of grenades and some pistol shots. So yeah, they did actually nearly fudge me up big time there. <laughs> um, but the only thing we are looking for up here then is a little bit more additional evidence. And then after this, we can go into the locked door with the EOD symbol on it, which we seen when we entered. And then after you're done in that room, then we can leave and move on. See, I too was drawn to it once. So we've got all evidence, all XP, all clues, but we need to find a cannery, which we seem to, that's where he, he seems to have gone, but we need to find an address for it. So the first, uh, well, the next step now is back to Oakmont City Hall. If Again, if you want to fight those two creatures to get a bit more XP or whatever around the front of the manor, more than welcome to do that, otherwise we can just head on back to our city hall.
Just when I thought I'd actually get somewhere first for once. Hello there, Mr. Reed. I didn't expect to see you here, so do we know each other? Well, I must say, I'm a little hurt. Would you prefer it come? No, no, you just caught us flat-footed. I believe you recently lost something. The seal. Uh-huh. Gotta find it before you go com So, do we have a problem? Not at all. Your hero. If Evernote Blackwood shows his face, we'll put him down. So then let's go and do a bit of investigating now, just to collect all the bits of evidence that we are usually needing and usually after. But it's when we go down to the basement and end up picking up the seal of Katigona. Katigona? 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 Whatever the freaking hell it is. That is when Blackwood will appear. And when Blackwood appears, he wants to do a ritual on us. We are going to say yes. If you say no, you miss an achievement, and nobody wants that. I don't want that. I want you to get all of the achievements. Ah, how old is this? Someone could have cleaned this up, right? Looks like everybody left mid-meeting. I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the Chosen are in here. So there we go then, something's happened upstairs for some reason, um, Blackwood's uh, smashed up a bunch of Yellow Kings on his own. Here, right, so before we say yes, if you still haven't gotten all the evidence or gotten all of the Mind Palace deductions and got your clues from that, uh, say, um, say I need to think about it, then go and do what you've got to do. Obviously I forgot to do the Mind Palace bit first, so obviously I'll be saying I need to think about it. As soon, if you're all done and you're all fantastically good to go, you have to pick, might be my last chance I'm in. For one, obviously that gives you the achievement, and two, if you reject it, um, Blackwood will try to kill you, plus he will summon three wild beasts, a Lethian, Stygian, and Caucasian, so it's just worth saying yes. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this- It can't be that easy. You can be saved. I want a moment to think about the other. Destiny waits for no man.
again, very important now. Make sure to say, might be my last chance, I'm in. If it's the only way to keep my mark. Ah, Charles, you are a wise and courageous man. Please. Now we've just got to go back down into the basement, interact with the uh, ritual table. We know he's a crazy fanatic who's probably blind and he's lost his head, but, you know, achievements. We'll do anything for achievements. We're a crazy bunch. So there we have it then. Funnily enough, just like in every video video game ever, when the hero wants to, he survives anything. Everyone else loses and you will always win. Such is this case as well. All the other guys die, but this time it's Blackwood that died, so you must have some crazy ass power. Congratulations. But there we go, and we got the achievement. Blackwood's dead, so that gets rid of one scumbag, another <laughs> scumbag, doesn't it? So it's all good for us. Now, we've only got one place left to visit, and that is the Crown Theatre in Advent. And that is where we'll be meeting Johannes Vanderberg, the weirdo in the quite sharpish yellow suit, mind. I'll give him that. For a stupid idiot, he has some good... He's got some good fashion sense. I'll give him that. So that's where we're headed next. So then, as I said, this is the last location of this mission, but we've got a few enemies that stand in our way. So when you get to the front door, you'll realize it's locked and you have to go to the right down an alley. Now, a couple of wild beasts will spawn, but again, this could be a random number and it could be any random um, beasts. But this is also the first time you could encounter a reviving Lithian. Now, I mean, the clue's pretty much in the name. So you'll shoot the Lith you'll shoot the Lithian, he'll go down, but he'll start to revive. Unless you go straight up to his face and blast him in a shotgun with like this weird pulse thing that comes out of his face when he's down. So and you'll know when it's happening, because as soon as he goes down you'll see all this black stuff going into him from the air like some kind of magic Houdini type little mofo. So obviously just be very wary. Could he could spawn here for you? He could not. Hello, Orion's Gentleman's Club. I hope I hope you're serving a lot better than we did earlier on. Well, actually, we got rid of all the KKK members that time, so, yeah, we done good. So, obviously, just be very, very aware. What I do is just whap out a grenade, get rid of a few, and then there should only be sort of one or two monsters left. That's the way I go about it, but, obviously, again, it's all up to you, however you want to go around it. This is the last fight of this mission complete then. Now when I explain what fights are coming up, I suppose you always think they're going to be pretty bad, aren't they? But honestly, they're never too bad. 
they're never too bad. Like I said, I only died once throughout the entire game, and that was because of the KKK member that shotgunned me in the face. So, whenever I explain a scene coming up, I hope you don't think, oh god, this is going to take the piss. It's actually not too bad at all. But this is it then. All we got to do to finish the mission is just go ahead, padlock the hell out of this door. Well, not padlock, you got to smash the padlock open. Enter through, go down to the end for a little surprise. And it's kind of a good one, kind of a bad one, because we get framed for it right here. Dun dun dun! Vanderberg is dead! Somebody shot him clean through the scrotum and the heart. And the ass, probably, I don't know, I didn't bother to check too much, but uh, a couple of bullet holes, he's dead. Which, you know, isn't too much of a shame, but he was a guy, I suppose, wasn't he? So, nothing too much to do in this area, B bits of key evidence and additional evidence, few lootables for us to find, unless you still want to tear up over Vanderberg, and that's completely up to you. Hey, I didn't waste any tears, but, you know, I'm a heartless bastard, so, stands to reason. Repeat the verse after me. Gnaia ilia ogn ogn glui as thor fathara nek ungi bun ma. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. The bloodstains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Uh, Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Uh, please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monaid possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to for this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in Pierre de Lalande, repercussions and reflections. Le philosophe in Kanu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. Your humble servant, Theurgy of Math. So now we can head on out and be arrested which is always nice. By the way, I'm not really a heartless bastard. I'm a big, soft, cuddly bear. Honest. Can he tell by my voice?
Stop right there. Put your hands up and... What? what? You're under arrest for the murder of Johan... I didn't kill... We have clear evidence against... So, at this point we're gonna get bailed out by a very surprising ally. You remember the sideburns guy? For a Graham Carpenter's sideburns dude. From outside the Carpenter mansion. We get bailed out, happy days. I must confess, I'm... Uh... Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter. The Carpenter family has a long and... I didn't kill anyone. Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Oh. Fine. So then, in the police station here, just in the left door here, there is another side quest that we can pick up, again, if you want to do it. Not related to any achievements, but again, if you need, if you want more ammo, um, XP, etc. Again, more than welcome to do that. But when we're done with this bit, we need to go and now speak, unfortunately, to Officer Poopy Pants the Second. You better start brown nosing carpenter, sir. Oh, really, newcomer? Go ahead. I'm a good, <laughs> a good citizen. You're not so good with people. Men like you are why this... You stroll the streets with a load of... The work of a private eye does occasionally... So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Just remember, if it weren't... For... Good God, man, what a dickhole. Anyway, as, f as for leads, we have none. So what we need to be doing then, we'll just go back to the Carpenter Mansion. Now, if you sided with Graham, you'll see a nice little sign outside that says, uh, what does it say? It'll be dedicated to charity work, helping the homeless and all that, etc. Lovely job. But if you decided to side with Brutus in the Father and Son's mission, he will have put out a sign saying any beggars will be shot. So, you know, I mean, hopefully, hopefully you weren't heartless. Hopefully you didn't have Graham killed because... Graham's a good dude, so love him. But anyway, that's where we're heading now. Don't you have work to do? What? N no. N no, Frank. You, you literally just bailed me out with the police station. You know I'm a private investigator. You... Damn man. What a stupid man. What a stupid man. Mr. Carpet. Mr. Reed. Welcome. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. I appreciate you bailing me out of <laughs> a trifle, Chuck. I didn't kill him. I believe you. I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I that being said, the Carpenter family still. What do you know about Milton P? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. Before you leave, here's a little... Take care, Mr. Reed. Right, so we've got everything we need from here then. You can check out Graham's mask on his face a little bit more if you want, but you get some... Uh, a few decent things there, which is pretty nice of him. But anyway... So, our casebook task then, there's a witness who said he saw us kill Vandenberg when we were obviously know that is a lie. He is a mayoral candidate by the name of Milton Pierce. 
Now we did a political interview in the Oakmont Chronicle related to his campaign, so that is where we're heading off next. The old Oakmont Chronicle. <laughs> Whoops, missed the door. I, I don't even know what I was doing and where I was looking at then. By the way, always remember then we've got the two, uh, the one briefcase and the one box upstairs for lots of looting and lots of ammo if you're in need of some. Stay safe. Thanks, Hon. You too. So, as I'm pretty sure you're aware how the game works by now, we've now got another address for us to find out. If you don't know how the game works by now, then I got sad news. We're sort of over halfway now and you still haven't got it. That's... that's bad. That's bad, okay? So, we've got an address, we've got a marker, and that's where we're going next. No enemies in this bit, again, which is nice for us. It's just a lovely bit of key evidence searching and looking through his underpants drawer if you're into that stuff. Me not personally, but hey, each their own. No judging here. Much. So once we enter then...
This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Emptier than a banker's heart. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall, but get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at city. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. They must be taking his election campaign very seriously. So then, remember I said, well, literally, just a couple of minutes ago, that we have a few options for us to do to end this mission. Basically, we can either get a... There's a guy coming up called Glenn Byers. We're going to get his address. He's basically the one who shot Vanderberg under pressure from Milton Pierce. So they're both involved. There's three ways we can end this mission. We can get Glenn Byers to confess... To do that, we have to actually help his family, who have been kidnapped by... Well, I won't spoil it for you yet, but they've been kidnapped and we've got to go and rescue them. The second one is turning buyers into the police. Again, that's without a confession, but that is just another way you can end it. And then we can frame Milton Pierce if we want. Now, we were just in his apartment, and to do that, we've got to get the gun that was used and place it downstairs in the basement where all his dirty laundry is. Oh, well, the bloody laundry, anyway. But there'll be a couple of wild beasts there, so obviously it's just worth just having a think about what you want to do. Keep following the video. Basically, I'll just tell you now what I do. I get the con signed confession from Glenn Byers. I just think it's the easiest and best way to get it done. And, of course, we don't have to fight any extra wild beasts, which is... You know, that's always handy. But, uh, coming back to the now, we're on our way to Oakmont City Hall, where we will be talking with the fat, disgustingness, blobus of Donald Trumpus, that is Milton Pierce. Why do all politicians look? You'll know what I mean when you see him. All politicians look like this. 
A lot of cockwombles, every single one of them. Now, do you remember what I said a bit earlier on about this game giving you achievements for choosing a lot of bad choices? Well, here is going to be a pretty disgusting one. Milton's going to ask us to kill his very, very rich mother so he, so it helps his mayoral campaign because he's, his funds have run dry. He's going to give you a bottle of poison, you've got to go and poison the old lady. There's an achievement to that, so... Well, we're about to kill an old lady. Unless you don't want the 1,000 out of 1,000 and platinum, but <laughs> that's what we got to do. Are you attempting to bribe a pal? I'm sorry. But let me tell you, my beloved mother... Well, that... Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I... Ah, so it's about the money. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you... Well, if that's what it'll t Just make sure it looks natural. Actually, take this. Comes well recommend. This isn't my first k Forgive me. I should- Anything else? My dearest mother Agatha, this current- And Reed, don't come back here after. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, before we leave, let's just head to the archives because we're needing to grab a little something, something. We need to get a few clues for us just to find out where this guy is, where he lives, so we can get an address for him. But um, we're basically going to be heartless for an achievement later on, aren't we? Just a uh, sack of crap. <laughs> Now then, this next conversation with Glenn Byers is extremely important. Now, you know obviously for the most of the game, what we say and what we do are completely different. But it's actually the what we say which is very important. When he asks us to help his family, even though the cheeky son of a bitch shot us, or shot Vandenberg and tried to frame us, sorry, we have to say, I will help your family. You have to say that. If you say you're not getting out of this, Basically, buyers will not be willing to cooperate with you and you'll lose access to several important leads. Um, he will he will give you the key to the room downstairs, but he won't give you the key to look at the crime scene next door, which has lots of evidence in it, so we'll be missing out on a lot of XP as well. It's very important. When he says that, you don't like it, but we've got to, we've got to help his family. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. Okay. Are you serious? I'm a pro- Why did you murder Johannes Van- I had no choice. I am an honest man. I didn't want to do it, but they had him. Tell me exactly how it all- uh, They broke into our house while I was out. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family- Ah, 
I'll need to inspect the place. If you have to, it's next door. Okay, let's say I believe you. I don't know. Please, I re- Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took- When I hand over the weapon, the Right. In a nutshell. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. You're a better man than I'm. I mean, if you do refuse to help Glenn Byers, the only other option we've got then is still having to kill Pierce's mother and then having, so he can change his testimony and then having to frame Pierce himself. There is that option, but I just found this option way easier and just better to do. But for now, like I said, we're going to just be looking at all the evidence around these two rooms. But in just a little bit, we'll have to be going downstairs to the kitchen. Now, you'll get upwards to four to six enemies, the same as it has been throughout the game, except this time an exploding Archeronian could appear. Now, Archeronians, like I said, are the big fat blob kind of American-style buffet dudes. But once you kill them, they explode. So if you're in the vicinity of one, well, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt you a lot. So obviously just be careful of that. Now, and like I said, remember if you do refuse to help buyers, you won't have access to this room we're in, and that is a lot of XP that we'll miss out on here, and several leads. Fresh. No dust. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I found that was quite clever then. Who, which son of a bitch uses a weapon, a, a shovel as a weapon? Seems like oh yeah, wait. I go lately, I find blood, crepe, silk, and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. This door will be hard to fix. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. <laughs> Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! I think I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door, or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room? Why? Uh, Just give me the key. Fine. I'll get going. So then, I've already mentioned the wild beasts. Now, if you position yourself where I do in the kitchen, that'll be your best bet. You're sort of backed into a corner, nice and lovely, because... There's a hole in the basement and wild beasts will start coming up from the basement and you'll see them coming up through the hole there as well so as soon as you start kill this one guy and get behind that table for a better view so nothing spawns behind you
That's a rare spirit. I'm lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on That's a rare spirit. I'd like you to have a bottle from before pro someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. So we do actually need to go down to the basement, but be be careful, there might still be an enemy around the, the um just on top of the stairs. You see the stygian there. He was waiting to come to me for me to come to him for some reason. It makes him different because we still bash his head in, but just be aware there may be an enemy at the top of the stairs there. So no more enemies should now spawn. We're just going to be looking at some more evidence, some lootables, and we're going to be finding where the gang hideout is, where uh, Glenn Byers family is being kidnapped. And again, it's a, it is a surprise. I'm not going to spoil it for you until we get there, but the guy is, well, he's an ass. <laughs> As most guys have been in this game, to be fair. Let's see what he's got in here. Now that sends shivers down the spine. What am I to do now? So then there's nothing left to do here, so now we can go to the gang's hideout. Now, basically, there's no wild beasts there, but you will end up in a shootout with about four other guys. Your positioning is absolutely terrible, so I'll explain a little bit more when we get there, but basically, the logical thing for us to do would be to back straight out of the room, round into some cover, and then wait for them to come to you, but again, we'll just get to that bit in a second. By the way, hopefully I'm not talking sort of too much nonsense when you're trying to concentrate on doing the mind palace deductions hopefully you're not sort of getting put off by that and then not that you do any mind palace deductions wrong but you know what i mean hopefully you are able to concentrate on what i'm doing on screen rather than me talking a whole load of nonsense sorry about that Ah, look at this guy in the ground. Has he had too much to drink or something? He's managed to get himself swallowed up by the freaking ground. Right. Um, now, coming up, there's three guards that are loitering outside. Basically, we don't have to fight them. We can just sprint to the door. So go ahead and just do that. Don't worry about fighting him. Sprint past this guy. But the guy by the door will actually come in after you. So be careful of that. 
I didn't realize he did until I got to the next room. So obviously just turn around when you get to the next room and then just take him out. What a goddamn sneaky little son of a butthole. Fist me right in my ass. I mean, punch me right in the back of the head then. Uh, <laughs> right, so I've lost my head again then. Welcome to another video on my channel of losing my headedness. Um, <laughs> right, few uh, normal things at the minute. Few bits of evidence, few lootables <laughs> for us to get then. And, well, I don't, th I don't suppose there's any harm in telling you now. Basically, the leader, the guy upstairs, is Billy Drennan. The guy from under the keel bar at the very beginning of the game, the guy that apparently saved us on the beach when he didn't, he just stole the freaking seal, and he left us when we went to go and talk to him. So, from here, what you'll need to do, you'll start off in the middle of the room, you're going to take a few shots, but what you need to do is just back up, don't bother aiming straight away, get your machine gun ready, you just need to back up and strafe around into cover, and then wait for them to come to you, as you'll see what I'm about to do. Now, if you want to get that signed confession, you have to fight Billy here and his goons, otherwise you won't be able to get it, and it'll just make life harder for yourself. It's not gonna... Sorry, Billy. This... So this is how it ends. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. Yeah, so that fight's not too bad. You can just sort of aim your gun in sort of the middle of the doorway. They'll all come running through very stupidly. Lucky lucky there's some stupid AI in this game for us, ain't there? Um, but that fight isn't as difficult as it could have been, in all fairness. So now we're just going to get the rest of the evidence from this bit. Um, open up the door, which releases Glenn Byers' family, and then we'll be returning to Glenn Byers to get that signed confession. Again, from that point though, if you wanted to, you could still frame Milton Pierce if you want. Because, you know, it wasn't really Byers' fault. He did the deed, but Pierce sort of pressured, in, pressured him into it. Again, that's completely up to you. I don't bother. I just sacrifice an innocent man to the, um, to the police. But, you know, it's just quicker for us, ain't it? So... Oh, thank you, mister. I... I'm a private eye. Father? You see... He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with. Okay, okay. I'll try. So the two guards are still remaining here, so don't go to the left, go straight to the right and the two guards won't have a fight with you. But you can have a fight with <laughs> this guy, you somehow managed to get himself stuck in the ground if you want. Have a chat with him, go on, but he will attack you. Go on, Sen, go on, let's have a fight. Y you're kind of penis level, so I'm not really... Hey, I ain't taking no chances, you ain't busting my balls, brother. Nah, let's just leave him. You can kill him if you want, but, you know, he's sort of dick level and I ain't sacrificing my wiener for no man. Or woman. Or wild beast. 
L let's just move on. family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister, what happens now? Uh, first things first. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. Yes, sir. Here's him. <sighs> Good man. I'll go clear things. I'll get going. Grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. So then, our mind palace deduction is telling us to frame Milton Pierce. Again, that's completely up to you. Still can't do that. You've got the murder weapon and everything, so you still can't do that if you want. All you've got to do is go back to Milton Pierce's apartment and go down to the basement and place the gun in his bloody dirty laundry, take a picture, job done. But be warned, there will be wild beasts there. I'm not going to do it because I can't be asked, frankly. But we do still have one more thing left to get. We've got an achievement to get now, and that is for poisoning an old lady. How good are you going to feel about this? Yeah, not very. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a bit shit, to be honest. But we've got to do it. You, If you want, I mean, you can make a manual save. Um, before you do it, get the achievement and reload, but, well, you know, her time was probably up anyway. Uh, <coughs> hey, I'm, I'm not an old judgy person. But, you know, she lived in the 1920s, probably plague gonna hit her and stuff, so, she had a year left. I'm a doctor, I know. Dr. Grant told me.
Oh my god, it is a fair old trek, this one. You know what, I was knackered. <laughs> I was knackered. All I had to do was um, press two buttons and I'm knackered just watching him run. The unfit lifestyle, my friends. The unfit quarantine lifestyle. Lockdown 2020. Whoop. Anyway, let's go and talk to Agatha Pierce. So what, this dialogue again is very important. You have to say, yes, I'll go and get the wine. Do you copy the same dialogue I do? If you tell her that her son's trying to kill her or anything like that, you will miss the achievement. So just say, yes, I'll do it. Happy days, don't ask no questions, get it done. Take some. Oh, fear not. I Would you kindly fetch us some Chianti? Yeah. Leave it to me. Here are the keys. And don't shy away from the good stuff. It... Bye. Good luck. But there will be wild beasts in the basement again. Not that many, but you could face an exploding Archeronian, the um, fat American... The... I've got to stop calling it the fat American. I'm, I'm very sorry. I mean, the fat buffet-style looking dude. Could be a couple of Stygians, could be Lethians, could be anything, but it's not too bad down there. But we'll just get some evidence from here. Foist. Emptier than a banker's heart. a fortune's worth of wine. I hope some of the bottles survived. This is not the key ante I'm looking for. This is not the key ante I'm looking for. This is not the key ante I'm looking for. By the way, those uh, wine bottles, which aren't the right ones, they count as additional evidence, which is why I do it. Now, there's going to be one Stygian here who runs away from you, but sort of projects out this b weird black smoke. Now, it doesn't hurt you, and it, I don't know what it does, but... He doesn't try to attack you, he just releases black smoke, so... It's, it's this one. Uh, I, I don't know what he does, he sort of pisses off and leaves the black slot. At least I don't think it hurts you, or I don't think it loses your sanity, but... I suppose just be aware of them? But, <laughs> anyway, all we gotta do then is just grab the wine bottle, take it back up, she's gonna die, we will be good to go. And which means, obviously, then, okay. Pierce is going to test his ch uh, change his testimony for us. But again, if you don't want to kill an old lady, if you don't want that poor old lady's death bearing over your soul, you know, obviously, like I said, make a manual save and then reload to not do that. Here's the key, Auntie, and I've... Oh, Thank you, Mr. Reed. May I offer a toast? Please do. To your good health. Why, thank you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Perhaps I waited too long to open this bottle. It tastes... Uh, off. <laughs> So do you feel good? Was that rare achievement worth killing an old lady and filling her house with black smoke? That's exactly what happened there. I thought my game would crash first, to be honest, but here we go. So we can just blame it on the Stygian. Easy. Win-win for us then, apart from, you know, the death of an old lady. But we've got the achievement anyway, so now we can move on. And our next stop is the Carpenter Mansion. Basically, we're going to be telling Frank exactly what happened so he can go and sort that out with the police for us officer you know dickhole poopy pants head the second Good news. I found the man that really killed him. And better still, I have a confession. You work fast, Mr. Reed. Well, as it happens, here's a letter detailing how Pierce was brought. A remarkable effort. Thank you. Now, one more thing. Glenn was forced to commit the crime, given the circumstances. I'll see what we can do. But do be aware, Mr. Reed, that... Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. So, that was a pretty weird retrocognition tear that kind of looked like Johannes Vanderberg, who was apparently shot and dead. Shot with two bullet holes to the balls and one to the ass um, at the beginning of the mission. So, I guess we're heading back to the hotel then. For some much needed sleep and a cheeky snack or two. We've been at this for a while now. Well deserved rest we need. Well, I mean, it would have been better if. At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent... I've got a question. What can I say? Perhaps next... It wasn't... The prosecution would beg to di... You set me up. I only set the smile. What? As amusing as it would be to see you charm... What do you mean? First things first about your case. If you're feeling guilty, maybe... But you did. This whole situation was about cho- Regardless, I shall call this exper- I don't understand. You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. No more riddles, you ain't- I am, you're just not list- Destiny beyond comprehend- And what? Everything. But unlike those untold millions before you, you- You don't mean- The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You can close them. No. I will not. Oh, but I do. I've seen it. Some poor soul faces their death. Why? Why? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Nameless hordes. Sacri- But our sacrifice is- A war. With many yet- Only you can make a difference. 
Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than fuel. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. Nevertheless, you're right about one thing. There is an archaeologist in this. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his ad Seriously. All that? <laughs> if I knew that. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. The truth is the truth. Farewell, Charles. And don't... So once it ends, get out your weapon of choice. Can be anything. I just do it nice and clean. Shot through the head with a nice pistol. And then we can finally commit the crime that we were accused of. By the way, you might, your sanity will go down, so get your antipsychotics straight out. Otherwise, smash a shadow monster with your shovel. I feel a Joker quote coming on here. You get what you fucking deserve. Bang, nice. And it was a nice clean shot through the head with a pistol as well, so... Like, look at me being all Jokerish. <laughs> anyway, he's dead, you've got that achievement. Now we can start the penultimate main case of the game now. And if you want to, if you again, have a look in the wardrobe, have a look all, all around the room, get yourself familiar and get yourself some first aid if you've got that um, available. And obviously if you've done any optional side quests and unlocked any extra wardrobe, um, some suits, you can do that. Now on this board here, these are all th uh, these are all basically newspaper clippings of what you've done in the game. So if Br if you kill Brutus Carpenter, it comes out with Brutus um, retired. EO EOD is poisoning people, so everything you've done in the game goes into the paper basically. So that's all that is. Take your time and have a read of them if you really want to. If not, we can go straight to a man called Joseph Hill's apartment. Uh, Vanderberg, before we shot him cleanly through the skull. He gave us an address, so that is where we're going to be going. So when we enter, first things first, we'll be going down to the basement where there'll be another couple of wild beasts. They're not too bad at staging an Alethian. Again, random uh, with monsters and how many there are, but there's not too many, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But it's the fight in the second floor that we've got to worry ourselves with. There is a Mayan priestess, uh, an undead Mayan priestess. So she's not like a normal human enemy. She won't die from a headshot. She can take quite a bit of punishment. Um, now for this, I would highly recommend using your shotgun. About three point blank shotgun blast should do the trick here. Uh, <laughs> I just, you know, because I can then, that's why I shot a <laughs> point of the gun at him. But your sanity will also drain quickly while you're fighting her. She can be quick, she teleports, but her only attack is a knife attack. So, but like I said, it shouldn't be too bad. As long as you get your shotgun out, three quick shotgun blasts to the head, or to the body and she will go down but if you do end up sort of missing her just keep moving around the room as she tries to attack you but you'll see what i mean in just a moment he tried to escape but something broke his neck with a single strike By the way, it may not be an Archeronian for you, it could just be a Lygian and a couple of St um, a Stygian and a couple of Lethians, but for me it was a Stygian and a goddamn Archeronian. But you see why you don't want to be fighting with the undead princess, uh, undead priestess upstairs and then she chases you down the basement. It would make the fight a lot more difficult, so it's just better to do this bit first. And 
also, when you go up to Joseph Hill's room, you'll see him um, sort of what looks like cowering in a corner. I mean, I would as well if an undead priestess was after me. But he's actually in a... Uh, magical barrier from rune drawings on the floor that protect him from the undead priestess But it won't be the same for you So don't think you could just go over there and you're protected won't work for you You'll have to kill her straight away Like I said get your shotgun ready blast her a couple of times job done Bam, easy enough, but your sanity's gone, so get your antipsychotics straight out and get your sanity back to full strength. So again, have a look all around the room, got some more evidence, and then just go and talk to Joseph Hill, the archaeologist, who will want us to actually track down. Her name is, well, they say Usha, but I'm going to call her Usher because, because I'm British and we mispronounce a lot of words. Or is it the Americans that mispronounce a lot of words? That debate and fight will rage on until time ends itself. By the looks of these plants, this photo was taken somewhere in South America. Is she gone? Did you get her? What the hell's going on? Oh, snub. Uh, Charles Reed. For me. What do you know about that? She's Usha, a Mayan priestess. Unusual. Why would a Mayan... It was... Don't ask me about it. I need your help to get... Oh, that's... Johannes was the one who told me about you. He did? What kind of prop? The Mayan girl. You mean the seal? The seal. Your test... Usha was the last one to... My bullets did nothing. There are ways to resist her... But didn't she come to you? I'm a private eye. Tracking... Look, when you look... Any leads on... I don't know, but... Thanks to the wire... Well, I got... See you later. These Mayan artifacts could be the prized jewel in many a museum collection. So that should be all the evidence in the apartment collected now. That should be uh, 149 XP. Again, remember to keep checking your skills out if you need to upgrade your health or your weapon and your ammo, etc, etc. Always keep checking. So then, we haven't got much to go on, but basically, Usher, <laughs> you know, the singer, Usher, uh, no, that's just, I've got nothing to go on on that, that's crap. Uh, but basically, she drinks human blood to sustain her powers, but there have been reports of attacks by a vampire, so-called vampire. So we need to head now to the police station, see Poopy Pants the second, we're going to be doing some research in ye old archives. Oh wait, I got one, I got one. Usher basically sucks the souls out of people because he's got such crap music. Huh? Don't huh? Waste my time. Yeah? Yeah, so I will stick with that one. Usha sucks the blood out of her victims. Usher's crappy music sucks the soul out of my goddamn ears because it's terrible. Get in there. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, not sure if that police officer and woman were put into the game properly. Um, they're standing. Oh, there we go. Now they <laughs> they were sort of acting then, like act nonchalantly, act nonchalantly. Oh crap! We're supposed to be doing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, we've got a little bit of a uh, Mind Palace deduction. I don't get that. That was just funny, though. Bit of Mind Palace deduction. And then we've got a backyard crime scene with a load of bodies all just chilling. Because they're dead. Uh, they can't do much else. But when you enter, the, again, there's going to be a group of wild beasts that will spawn. So this can be quite important as well. Take the exact same path that I take. Basically, there's going to be, right by the alleyway, there's going to be an innsmouther that is shooting his victim. Now, if you're quick enough and you sprint past him, he will actually help you fight some of these wild beasts. Um, he basically drops his gun for me at this point. I was a bit slow, but he still manages to whack one or two Stygians for me. So, hey, every little helps, doesn't it? But yeah, if you take the same path I do, run past the inn's mouth there, and then he will actually help you. So it's worth doing that. But again, the, the, um, the enemies here he is, look. So if you sort of run past him real quick, get them to spawn, and then he's going to help you out here. Just for a little bit, anyway. I mean, I mean fair dudes, like. That was pretty decent. Well done, kid. Well done. So there were a few that sort of popped out, but it's not too bad. And now this is just another sort of key evidence, additional evidence area. So go ahead, again, just follow what I do, pick up what I pick up, interact with what I interact with, as you well should should have been doing for most of the game by now. And hopefully it's helped you out so far. I'd be a bit gutted if it hasn't helped you out, but he didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. Nothing useful inside. He didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. Great fisk, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you hate. Take this, damn corpse! Must keep a knife. Order me, priestess, and I will serve. Okay, let's see what we have here. Great fisk, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you here. Take this, damn corpse! Must keep an eye for it. Order me, priestess, and I will serve. Usha attacked three Innsmouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him, somehow. Fish. These guys were gonna have a good meal here.
right then, so now we have a new person to investigate, and his last known whereabouts was the Devil's Reef Hotel, where we were staying. Surprised we never really bumped into him, but hey, any chance to go home and take a little nappy nap, you know, take a little grandma nap. That's my favourite thing to do, to be honest, so I'm with you on that, even without investigating after a long hard day. But anyway, head back to the Devil's Reef Hotel. Now we'll go in and talk to Victor, who basically says that little scum pig um, up and left without paying, so uh, there's a, a little bit of additional evidence we're going to get as well while we're here, so don't leave straight away, otherwise we'll get an address for a hidden lab that he was at. Great one about his room. A pile of weird stuff and... I found a debt letter from you. Huh. Why? Yes, thanks to all you damn newcomers, Flood got 50 of them back here, right? Indeed. Also worth going back to your room if you just want to get a first aid kit and have a look around, change your costume, which I do. I'm going straight into the Yellow King's suit, because that is pretty snazzy. For a, for a decade he had, some, again, some snazzy taste. I liked it. The King's robes. Did Raymond get this air tank from the same place I did? I've seen some of these places. The backyard with corpses. Joseph Hill's house. How did he draw all this? Stop it! Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it! So then, once we get to the hidden lab, be prepared for a wild beast attack. For me, it was an exploding Archeronian Buffet man. Mr. Buffet, we'll just call him from now on. So we get an exploding Mr. Buffet, so as soon as he dies, he'll explode. And a couple of other wild beasts, I think there's a Stygian and a Lethian. But of course, again, the number could be random. You might just get a couple of easy boys, you might get a couple of exploding Mr. Buffets. So again, just be, a, be prepared for an attack though.
maybe not the best of choice to go outside and hide on a little pier where everything could attack me, but ah, we got through it anyway. So there's nothing else that's going to attack you now. Again, this is just another key evidence area. This is all we've been doing is looking for evidence. And when we're done with the retrocognition a little bit later on, um, Raymond will appear, but Usha would have actually taken over Raymond's body. So and what she's going to do then is basically ask you to go ahead and kill Joseph. Now, at the minute, it doesn't matter whether you say that you will do it or not, because the true choice is made by your actions, not your words. But just keep following along, and I'll explain in more detail in just a tiny bit. But we are actually coming up to the end of the mission now. So this one is kind of a quickie. <laughs> quickie. about the Tiganar or God. She won't talk to you. Ah, only the seed may know. Uh, I don't think these tools were used for surgery. mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Dam. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Damn, you broke the ceiling, so Time to figure this out. Promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or seals. Damn, you look the ceiling circles. Help me, you bastard! Stop this monstrosity! Ah! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. Stop! She has something to say. Raymond? I was looking for you. We you don't need to hurt her. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha. She took this body as her vest. Well, using a man as a puppet is... What deal are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend. I need to... Generous. She has... And what exactly am I... Kill, sorcerer. Joseph. You could have just told Joseph. The sorcerer does not deserve these, and here you are. Why should I kill Joseph? He woke her up, plundered her body. You want revenge. She wants freedom. What will you do after you Live. If I do what you ask. Among the stone thing. Oh, can't you just tell it straight? She believes you're... After everything I've seen it... She will wait for you.
Right then, so at this point in the mission, we've got enough information to proceed in any way that we possibly can. And we've got three achievements in relation to killing both Joseph Hill and Usher. So the first thing we're going to do then, basically what you need to do is um, you need to get them both to trust you first. So we're going to return to Joseph Hill first. You go through the conversation and basically say you're going to kill Usher. He's going to kill you. Uh, he's, sorry, he's going to give you a mystical ointment which is supposed to help kill Usha, and then as soon as the conversation ends, just whack him with the gun. Job done. If you say that you're not going to do it, um, Joseph will actually attack you, and then he's going to be a little bit harder to get down. So it's worth just go, just getting him to trust you, him giving you the mystic ointment, and then shoot him. That'll be the first one done. Basically then, if you return to Usha without killing Joseph Hill, she will attack you and that is a hard fight. Tr trust me on that. There's no worth, no point doing that fight. It is a hard fight with Usha the second time around, even harder than it was in uh, the first time. So this is why we're doing it this particular way. So we're going to go to Joseph Hill, kill him first. When you get to Usha, she will trust you, she won't attack you. And then you've got to wait until she turns around and basically kill her in in a very cowardly way. Wait till she turns around, shoot her in the head, you get two achievements there. Um, hopefully that wasn't a whole load of crap that came out of my mouth. But anyway, we're back now at Joseph Hill's apartment. So again, get him to give you the Mr. Ointment first, then shoot him in the head. Job done first. Choose wisely. I do save it here, but that's if you want to go about the story a different way, whether you don't want to kill Joseph or don't want to kill Usha, so... Obviously, I'd just kill them both and crack on, but the choice again I is up to you. Explanation. No. I found the laboratory, Joseph. So then you understand why I need Usha? You revived the dead, then... T do not rust to judgment, read those specters, monsters. I know you had a deal with Raymond. Nothing he didn't deserve. He's her toy now. Pos Me? You tormented Usha. She refused to- Like pouring acid on- It was stubborn. No longer- Usha made me a proposal. What? You didn't even ask me what you wanted? I fear I know already. She- I have already prepared the unguent to prevent her resurrection. Now calm down, Joseph. I'm okay. Uh. 
I know where Usha is. So, she returned to the tomb. What's the plan? I formulated an elixir. Just don't forget to collect her ashes. There we go then, bam, that's the first one done. Again, if you didn't want to kill Joseph Hill, reload your save, and then it's fine from there. We uh, Raymond's going to speak to us now, basically telling us to find a hideout, which means we're going to be doing another underwater dive. And you see why I just was able to kill Joseph Hill a lot easier. Just He goes down with one shot. If he gets his gun out, it takes a few bit, a few bit more of ammo, and there's just no point, really. So... There we go then. So now we've got to, like I said, do another underwater dive again. It's just as easy as the other ones. There's a, some hot air vents and there's a squid fish, but you could just walk on by with no real issues. So let's head there then, shall we? It's just a lovely... We haven't done an underwater dive for a while and, to be honest, I didn't particularly enjoy them. I thought they just slowed the game right down. You know, one or two throughout the game's not bad, but when there's about five or six, yeah, a bit tedious. Come on, guys, stop fighting. I said... Stop fighting! Yeah, there you go. I thought that would get you to stop fighting, you bunch of fannies. So again, this then this is as pretty uneventful as it has been the last ones. I'll let you know when we're going to come up to the squid fish, but basically this time we don't even need to harpoon him. We can just literally uh, run straight on. He might get us once or twice, but it's a short distance to the end, so... So this is where the squid fish is lurking then, but as you can see, just keep running forward, you'll see the exit ahead of you. Again, he might 
nip us once or twice, otherwise you shouldn't really uh, be wasting time harpooning him. There he is. So then, this is the end of the mission. Now, again, if you came here without killing Joseph Hill, you will have a fight against Usha right about now. But we're going to be getting two achievements. So at the end of this little bits of dialogue, you can choose between goodbye or I can't let you live. Choosing goodbye let, um, lets her trust you and she'll turn around and you'll shoot her in the head and you'll unlock two achievements. If you choose I can't let you live, you'll be up against a boss fight with her. So it's obviously worth just saying goodbye and job done. And that's the end of the mission when we go back up to the surface. Oh, gotta find pieces. She doesn't. How can I stop the madness that seeps? You will find out when it is time. And... No. You say there... Mark... Why do you... You... What lie? A temple. A prison. How do you... She asked... I just need to find the fire worshippers, then gather... She wishes you the wit. Farewell. I don't know if... Oh, she will enjoy... Trust me, doing it that way is a lot easier than actually having to fight her. Seriously, trust me on that one. Uh, doesn't she remind you of uh, one of the Pirates of the Caribbean films? The bloody... Uh, you know, I hope you know what I'm talking about, because I can't even remember or think of it right now. But that is it then. We have got one mission left to do, but we're not going to be doing that yet. Because if you go and do this last mission into the depths, basically it's a point of no return. So we're going to now be doing the three side missions which are, which have achievements tied to them. Now they're quite short, they're relatively easy, they're not nothing too hard at all. But we will be getting them done before doing into the depths. So that's very important for us to do right here. Right then, so what have we got first? We've got a delicate matter. Now, this side mission is offered to you by Robert Throgmorton at the end of the Lost at Sea story mission from um, from way uh, back in the first part, the second mission that we would have done. So now we need to look for a guy called Herbert Glover. We've got his address, so that is where we are off now. Now, with these side... To be honest, with these side missions, I do think they're, they're like... They're kind of a nice break away from the... From the sort of intensity of the main story mission you know i know we're sort of close to the end now but it can be worth doing the side missions because yeah some of these can be quite just nice and chill and like i said they're relatively short as well so it's not like you're going completely out of your way for hours on end so it's worth doing but especially these ones because achievements and trophies we are all whores for them don't you lie and don't <laughs> You admit it, don't you lie. So then, when you're exploring the house, be expected to fight some wild beasts. Now, again, these are a random number and they can appear at any time. So always be on guard, be on your toes and get your best gun ready. Again, it could be any number of ones. You could get a couple of Stygians, Lethians, anything. I get one of those bloody goddamn annoying Stygians that don't attack you, but just puff black 
crap in your face. Like, I don't know what the hell that does. But if I'm going to be honest, with the machine gun, I would leave that. Try and get as much ammo as you can from your machine gun, because we'll be using that for the last side mission that we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, so we'll just come back to that a little bit later on. Now this, I was ready to burst in and kick some ass, but... Well, at this point, <laughs> it was the back door, so... You know, try not going round the back door. And I still went round the wrong side, so... Yeah. Don't get yourself pumped up and then budge yourself into the wrong door because, uh, you know, you sort of lose all your adrenaline rush then. But, hey, we do it now. So, again, be aware they can come at any time. Right, so that should be the last of them. Again, they I expect the majority of the time they could come um, up from the floorboard straight away for you, but it has been noted that they can come at any time a bit later on, so that's why I said that. And I just got what that bloody black smoking Stygian does. He obviously shields all the enemies from view, so you can't see them. Duh, and that's a good idea, actually. But it's no good when all the enemies are dead. Loser! Should be safe from harm's way now. Nothing else should attack you, so we're just going to be collecting some key evidence and some additional evidence. And you've seen me move the statue's head. Basically, that's a puzzle. Um, not not a very, not a very big one, obviously, but it's a puzzle that has a large tr um, large trunk in the room. So we'll be getting statue's head to put on the other statue, so we can go and. It's just a lootable box in there. Nothing spectacular, to be honest. Still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. What's that? Like what you see, buddy? <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. 
Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Squint, run! Oh, oh Kay! I have killed him! Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna... Who are you? What in Kay's name are you doing in my... Okay. Let's see what we have here. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr... Who are you? What in Kay's name are you doing in my house? Squint, run! Oh, God! Oh. Hey, I have killed him. Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Right then, so that's all the key evidence, all the other evidence collected. Now we can go and do this um, sort of puzzle. Just go and put the statue's head back on that and all we get for our troubles is crap basically we do, we don't get a lot so i mean that was pretty pointless to have all that hidden in a door yeah a bit pointless wasn't it but anyway as you probably noticed during that recognition you heard a robber named squint mention that they've done other robberies in the district so what we need to do now is nip off to ye old police department see officer pp the second huh, pp sorry just so childish so childish but yeah, we'll head off to the police department now and see if there are um, any record of their crimes uh, through the archives. Fight me, boy. Fight me! Anyway, um, so he doesn't want to fight. He just keeps calling me a newcomer, even though I've been here for a while. So the clue is the art collector's demise, as you can see. And then just pick the necessary clues to go with it. Oh, we got that woman, uh, that police officer, standing still like a gun up step. Oh, and he's taking reports through nobody. Well done, well done. You're promoted to knobhead. Anyway, what have we got here then? We've got Squint's police record report says he has known an associate named Sidney Stokes. So now we've got Stokes' address, and this is where we'll be getting the achievement. And it, all it is is just for stealing our ammo off him. He's got ammo under a box. We just picked that up. So it's really easy, to be honest. And the location's not even hidden that well, so... So 
So here we are at Stokes' address. There will be wild beasts that appear. Now, for me, they appear when I go upstairs to the second floor. But again, they could appear earlier. They could appear straight away or they could appear later. So again, just be on your toes. Be aware. But we'll be getting the achievement first of all. Now, if you go to the left and then head into the kitchen, you'll see um, like a little cabinet or something that's all boarded up right at the very back. And that is where the ammo is for us to be taken. Obviously, we'll be going through the entire house doing all the key evidence and additional evidence as we've been doing throughout the game. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough. So that anything. looks like Whatever just pure poop on a plate. Nobody is that hungry ever, surely not. Pick up this photograph of the mother for uh, Sydney Stokes' mother for additional evidence, and right next to it is the ammo we steal off him because we are bad, bad men. See what I mean? You get achievements for doing bad, bad things. I don't know if Frogware and Big Ben Interactive are making us be douchebags on purpose. But hey, we're not like that in real life, are we? So, hopefully, anyway. So, all's well that ends well. And we do what we can for achievements. So, yeah, as I said, we, I'll go upstairs now. This is where the fight begins. And we will find Sydney Stokes behind an illusionary wall. having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did? See, not too bad at all. The worst thing about it is the whole paranoia moving through the house <laughs> until you're ready waiting for them to spawn. So again, little bits of evidence up here still for us to collect and it's the wall where I am now. It's the wall basically behind you and to the right. That is the illusionary wall where Stokes is hiding. After that we are done. We just need to go back to Robert, Planet of the Apes, Throgmorton. away from the... Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sidney Stokes, I presume. Aye, oh, aye, yeah, that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't... Uh, no. You... She, she, she's... A Come on, paint me... She was... Uh, the jo So where's this fan? She took it? When me hey, what am I to do? Were you hired to kill the collector? I I I swear to K I it You panicked. Oh, please, as K is my Look, you might be a sap, but oh, thank you. You're a light What do you want?
I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Glover's dead. And he wasn't working alone. He had a truck. Their employer has it. Uh, some... I see. Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. I would welcome it. All right. Of course, Mr. Reed. Let me guess. You want me... Yes. I... I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone. Ah. Uh... Once he get... I found mention of the mill. Your father was a prominent man. None who would. You mentioned your father. The prospect of you. But if that's what you need. So that's the first of three side missions done. Now we are doing through the looking glass. This one isn't too bad either. If you want some dead sun cake, be my guest. He's looking. He's looking tasty, I'll give him that. But we're staying in the Throgmorton Manor just for a moment because we've got to do some additional evidence searching and key evidence searching upstairs as he's just given us a key. But yeah, again, this side mission, this isn't too bad either. It's more just at the end. We get both of our achievements at the end. Uh, what you'll have to do is make a manual save before you talk to the person that we need to talk to. Take it, but it's it's us having to go back to Throgmorton every time. So we've got to go to this place, then back to Throgmorton, then back to this place again, then back to... It's a pain in the ass. That's really the most annoying thing about this side mission. Otherwise, it's a nice, easy one again. Now, that kid looks a little familiar. Looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. Seems an ambitious expedition. Eh, like father, like son. some questions. I beg your pardon? Well, it came up during the investigation. Say no more. It is... Your father led an expedition back... I'm not the best person to ask him. It is a great shame, of course. Yeah. Have a good... So then, if you were paying attention to that, we will know that Robert Throgmorton's mother, Bethany, got admitted into an asylum because... Well, I won't... Well, I won't um, spoil the spoiler yet, but there's a reason she's in there and we'll find out in not too long time. But the asylum is where we're headed off next. The um, planet of the masters, the planet of the apes master, is in a mental asylum. Good times. There had to be an asylum mission in this game, didn't it? Always, in every sort of action-adventure horror-ish game. Especially a Lovecraft-inspired one. So go in and talk to the nurse 
first then so we can find out a little bit more information and basically bethany's room then is downstairs in the basement on the right which makes it even scarier but there's no monsters it's just a key and additional evidence searching area for us so still nice we'd know if we had a throg morton her usual walk oh you mean yes any idea where she went no that's interesting i bye There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. The blood's almost dry. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad someone had a field day to facing these. Huh. Is this taking it? At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. Baby boy, I promise. Just tell me more. Stop right there. You no longer have any power over me. Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. The answers have been there since the last century. Time to piece this one together. Randall Glassworks. In Salvation Harbor, you no longer have any power over me. I have found my. Stop right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. Next stop looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. So again, that's all the evidence in this area done, which is great. Go back and talk to the nurse if you so desire. I don't believe it adds anything. But as we just seen with that vision, Bethany believes the answers are at a place called Randall Glassworks. Now, she's obsessed with this mirror, but still we're not too sure why at this moment in time. And when I found out, I laughed in disbelief but again we'll we'll come up to it and we'll just see in uh in fact we're not too far from it now after we get to this randall glassworks place but first we've got to go to city hall and see where the, um see where the randall glassworks address is
Ah, crap, should have really checked in on Milton Pierce and see if he feels any guilt for having me kill his bloody mother for him. Oh, he's probably mayor by now with all the money he got. Yeah, son of a bitch. Politicians, you son of a bitches. Anyway, we've now got the dress for Randall Glassworks, so go put that on the map, and then that is where we're heading next. But you can expect a slightly difficult fight in this Glassworks. Uh, it could be that an Archronian appears and several Stygians. There was one healing Stygian, regenerating Lethian, a Kikishan. It, again, it's completely random, but it can be potentially quite difficult. And on top of that as well, if you kill all them and you end up leaving the place or you reload your save or whatever, you've got to fight them all again. Again, completely random, so that can be a pain in the ass, but keep that one in mind. So get your favourite gun ready. So there we go then, I said it could be difficult, usually if it's the big buffet boy there, there'll only be one um, wild beast along with him, but if there's not a buffet lad, there might be again about five to six, uh, so sort of different wild beasts, so again keep that one in mind. We're not quite done yet, now what I want you to do is get your shotgun ready, because when we go down into the basement, there's a padlock, uh, padlock door for us to break through. And an invisible Lethian will appear. If you remember, we had to fight two of them in um, the father and son's main mission, I believe it was. But there's only one, and he appears basically right in front of you when you open the door. So he's not too bad. So if you want to get all the lootables and um, additional evidence and things from this room first, obviously it's completely up to you. But we can't actually go upstairs. There's a couple of squatters upstairs. We can't go up there yet until um, all the wild beasts have been dealt with. The door won't budge. Some sort of treatment solution. So yeah, that one is a lot easier than the two in that bastard redemption church, which just pissed me off to no end. Right, a little bit of, again, little bits of evidence and lootables, etc. in this room. But now we're good to go up to the second floor. Now I, had, I restarted this twice because I thought the game was glitched. Basically, when you go upstairs to the locked door earlier on, you've got to actually interact with it. Now I didn't do that twice, I thought the game was glitched. I didn't interact with it. And, yeah, nothing happened. So, 
very important. Interact with the door. When all the wild beasts are dealt with, go up here, interact with it, and then he'll talk to you. Otherwise, you're just left wandering around like a bloody idiot like I was. And feel free to take all in a day. Oh, this used to be an okay place to live. Yeah, do all mirror me. Oh, nice work. It looks like the craftsman's gone out of business, though. Too bad. Who knew that so much planning went into mirrors? Someone's been stocking up. Hmm. Someone's been stocking up. His house? Randall's house? Hold on, Hammond. We're almost there. That's a thick book. Thick enough to be someone's life's work. What is Bethany's damn obsession with the mirror? Well, now that we've got um, Randall's diary, we should now be returning to Robert Frog Morton, Frogface Morton, and question him about that book. And this is where you will find out why, if you follow again the dialogue options I do, this is where you find out what's so special about this one mirror. Uh, we also get a search warrant then for Ronald's glasswork, so we'll be going to the police station after we talk to Big Rob. I'd actually love to know from you guys and gals what you actually think is behind that mirror. Because it took me, it honestly threw me for a loop, but let me know in the comment section below what you actually think it was before you done this bit of the mission. I'd love to know. I found a disturbing... I suppose there's no point in being coy. Hammond is inside the mirror, trapped by sword. Right then, Sue. Frogmorton's father trapped his brother behind a mirror, but he doesn't know why. I, um... Yeah. <laughs> I've got no idea why that is. But that's why Bethany's been going mad. That's why she's been in the asylum, because nobody believes her, because they think she's off her nut. But we've got another Throgmorton to save. And we've got, again, um... Yeah, like I said, I couldn't get my head around it either. But yeah, we've got two achievements related to it. So like I said, we're at the police station now, because we've got a search warrant uh, from Randall's Glassworks. But again, we've got, uh, sorry, it, again, it completely threw me for a loop there. But we've got two achievements relating to this. 
And they both, it, it's either you giving the mirror, you letting Bethany keep the mirror, or you actually giving the mirror to Robert. They both want to save him in their own weird-ass ways. Personally, uh, so obviously what we've got to do is make a manual save before we speak to Beth. Very important that if you if you do it after we speak to Beth, you'll have to reload an auto save, which may include having to fight all the friggin' monsters again, which we will have to when we get to the house. But yeah, I basically I choose Robert. Um, I let Bethany keep the mirror first, reload my save, then I give it to Robert because Bethany, as you'll see, she's well. There's a reason she's in an asylum, bless her. Right then, so we've got, th this is the Mirror Maker's house, this is the last location in the game, we're basically coming up now to the end of the side mission, not the game rather, and it's a fair old trek to the Mirror Maker's house from the fast travel point, but again, expect, again, not that too much difficult of a fight, there's a couple of wild beasts that spawn, they will attack you, or they attack me, I went through it three times, they attacked me as soon as I entered the house. All three times I had a big buffet Archeronian um, coming up from the basement, so it could be random for you, so obviously don't go along with, you know, what I did, you could get a random different bunch of numbers. But once we're in there, again, it'll just be key evidence, additional evidence to get, and then the big stuff will happen, then we'll finally find Bethany. So there you go, it's not too bad, a, a grenade or two, even if it's not an Archeronian, chuck a grenade or two, and your job's done. Now again, key, key evidence, additional evidence, as I've said, but to actually get Bethany to appear down in the sub-basement, the basement underneath the basement, there is a small uh, mirror that we need to shoot, but again, we need to get everything first, so sort of follow what I do in this room. If that's what you've been doing for the rest of the game, then... <laughs> There's no need for me to explain. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? Biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont include his manor into a museum of vintage mirrors collected over many decades.
Somebody's been doing their homework. Right then, so this is the creepy ass bloody sub basement. There's the brother Throgmorton, then, and that is his casket, which has been very sadly dead and rotting for 28 years. Don't go towards that mirror at the back because that'll just drain your sanity really quickly. We won't be picking that up yet. Again, we'll just be having a look just what we need down here the additional evidence and key evidence, etc. Then we'll be going and shooting that very, very small uh, mirror which was on the first floor behind the illusionary wall, and then Bethany appears back down here. As this mirror stays whole. You will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. These rights, they might buy me time. to be away. Time to piece this one together. These rights, they might buy me time. to be away. There. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Bethany set up some sort of barrier to buy time while she tries to free Hammond. Could remove it by destroying her ritual mirror. Well, I certainly could have done that retrocognition a bit easier. But after that, then, break the mirror, Bethany will appear. Now is the time to make your manual save. I do it literally just before I got actually kind of lucky with this. But do it now. At any point now, 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 do your manual save before heading in because it automatically starts the conversation. So, at, <laughs> like I said, I don't know if I just told you enough times, but any point after you break the mirror, that's when you make your manual save. So this time, when she's all having a whinge about it, just allow her to keep the mirror, but we still got to go back to Robert Throgmorton okay. and let him know for it's the achievement fun. to unlock. My, my... His body is... Okay. Well, I guess you've got the right to try. 
Oh, thank you. So as you see, you do lose half of your sanity. But what she's done is, I don't know if you can hear that, but all she's done is return the soul to the corpse which is in the casket, which has been rotting for 28 years. So that, that's all she's done with it. That's, that's crap. Life can be cruel. Would have made a better father proud. You can actually hear him trying to get out and crying. Take the broken mirror, obviously, so we need to return to Robert Throgmorton now. But yeah, that's all she's done. That's the only thing she's done to save him. Oh, my son, my poor son. Let's just put him in a 28-year-old child's body who's been dead for 28 years. Just, yeah. And that's the reason alone why I choose Robert. And, you know, Robert's been pretty good to us. He's given us some decent stuff, hasn't he? So yeah, we'll return to Robert Throgmorton as soon as we get that achievement, load up the manual save, and we'll go again. I was too late. What? No, I expected better from you, Mr. Reed. So unfortunately for us, as you've noticed, we start from the nearest fast travel point. We don't start from actually inside the house. So be aware when you do go back to the house, we'll be needing to fight off another couple of wild beasts. So again, get your gun ready. Um, this time obviously we can go straight to the sub-basement. Now, when you tell Bethany that you're taking the mirror, she will try to kill you with a revolver. So you need to smash her in the head with a nice clean pistol shot. And then simply just return it to Robert Throg for the next achievement. God damn it, the one time that I have the bloody reviving Lethian. Yeah, if you haven't had this by now, this is the reviving Lethian. Go up to him, blast him in the face with a shotgun before he gets back up. Or machine gun. Shouldn't have really wasted ammo on a machine gun. But, because he still gets up anyway.
So this time then we don't need to waste time looking around the house, we can just go straight down to Bethany, but remember when you tell her you're taking the mirror, she will um, get out a revolver and try to smash you up and shoot one through your head, so you, you get it done to her first. Sorry old lady. I'm sorry. No! Please! It's crazy, Bethany. No, you can't- So there we are then guys and gals, we are literally about one hour and a bit away now from finishing the entire game, this is the end of part two, thank you so so much for watching, I hope the video's helped, if it has of course don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, go and check me out on Patreon as well as I'm on there which always helps and I appreciate anyone who does, and I shall see you in the third and final part, let's do this, big love. I tracked down the mirror. Excellent. You have rendered my family and its noble blood. So, I... To find Hammond a body fit for a trueborn Throgmorton.